But what do you what do you think, Jay? What do you think, Dan, of the crazy ideas we've been throwing around? Uh, I think they're you know I think that's uh, just as crazy as Orville and Wilbur Wright when they wanted to build an airplane. People really you know people thought that if man were meant to fly, we'd have wings. You know, so with that, you know. Uh, you know, if they had been held back by all the people that, you know, said that and did that, and you're trying to get me to laugh, and I'm not going to laugh. No, we're headbanging because <laughs> now people do have wings. They're just going to climb inside of a contraption, and hey, they're 50,000 feet in the air. So, yes, use doubt as motivation. But, That's, you know, go ahead. but look at them. They, they, they were up against another group of people that had all the money, all the backing, all the stuff, and yet they're the ones that reached that milestone first because they had the passion and the desire. The ones who had all the money and the backing thought they had it in the bag, mm -hmm. and they also thought that because they had all that, they didn't have the sense of urgency. That's exactly it, Dan. You said. So that's, you know, I think that's, you know, um, those crazy ideas are probably – the best thing to get you going and, and put out there to see what really can be done. Mm -hmm. Any, anything? Because no idea is crazy. You know, you really think about it. No idea is crazy because ideas that come into your subconscious from the ether, from the paradigm of every other human mind entering into consciousness, that's not crazy. You're picking up on successful ideas because you're tuning into success consciousness that all successful people share. That's where your ideas are coming from. And when you're sending out ideas and you're doing stuff like we're doing, or you're doing video, or you're doing blogging, or you're doing radio shows, or whatever it is, and you're bringing out good ideas and value, boom, that enters into the conscious field and that enters into the consciousness. And people pick up on that. It's like Nikola Tesla. People are like, oh, he's so crazy. He's nuts. But if he wasn't, doing what he did, we wouldn't have altering and curing right now. So right. it's really, really important. And then they were asking, like, how do you get all these ideas? And he's like, my brain's just a receiver. <laughs> yeah. so of course, of course, there were people in support. Edison wanted him to fail so bad he was electrocuting elephants, telling people it wouldn't work. I mean, I think we're doing a little bit better. No one's, like, taking power hour things out and throwing darts at them. Otherwise, I'd be coming to their house and not yet they're not, but if they are, that just means we're doing but, something right. Yeah. We're, pissing off, we're pissing off people because we have, they know we're going to make it and they don't want us to. And that's what naysayers do. That's what people who don't support you do. They, they just want you to be as miserable and, and ambitionless as they are. And I'm going to tell you, not happening over here. Nope. Carly, Dan, Fran, Jay, what do you guys think? about getting rid of people who don't support you and using it as motivation. Well, I agree. Yeah. But what? I was going to say, i got to get going because I've got a meeting. Oh, to go yes, to. yes. Thank you, Dan, for being here. Go yeah. ahead, buddy. Later, I, Dan. I, I love being here and being I a know, part of this. So I look know. forward to next time. Talk to you, you guys later. later. Have a great night, eh? I will. Drive safe, buddy. I will. Okay. Later. later. Good night. It's Jay. You know, Go ahead. I'm not, not really sure what's out to this conversation. So. Um, one thing I think, right, achievement is not achievement unless, or success story is not a success if it doesn't come with an achievement. You know, like, let's, let's take Zuckerberg, you know, one of the richest men in the world. Uh, he didn't do it through his own, his own ideas. He did it because he's the grandfather of we know who, you know, you know who. Like the grandson of, of you know who, you know, it's, it's that kind of success. Do you feel you actually wake up in the morning and feel like you've achieved something? Mm, that's important. It, it's good to feel, when you wake up in the morning, you want to think, yep, yeah, I've got something, and people like it. People are using it, and they're, yeah. not using it, they're not using it because I'm so influential that I've got the money to actually market it. It's, it's they're doing it because I built something and they want to use it. That's exactly it. Dude, it's the service you provide, the service and the value you provide for people that makes the difference whether you are rich or poor or successful or failure it, because that's what success is, is the service of others. The more you help, the more you service others, the more successful you become as a person. And the more, exactly. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, people, if, if, if it's valuable, people will use it. That's oh, yeah. Day. Of course. Of course, but it also comes down to the law of cause and effect. 
service and rewards. <coughs> well, you know, the more you put in the bull mark service, the rewards take care of themselves. You don't have to worry about that. And that actually segues perfectly into the ninth point. Perfection doesn't exist. Now, I used to call myself a perfectionist, and even though sometimes I still do, like when I launch a website, I really, or with the membership side, I'm like, I need all these little things in place. And, I, and, I'm, getting, and I'm working my best to do that. But I have to understand maybe there'll be a tweak here or a thing here that doesn't exactly fit what I envisioned or it won't exactly work like I want. And that's not to say I shouldn't strive for that, but when I go so much for perfection and trying to make that perfect, that perfect song or that perfect website, that perfect me, I lose out on the fact that by being imperfect, I was already perfect in that way because I'm taking oh action. And, I, and by taking that action, by doing that thing, I'm helping other people. And, it, and if there's a little tweaker here on a website and I don't launch it because I don't think it's perfect, there's a lot of people that may lose out on that service. And actually, I can bring that to you, Jay, and I can bring that also to you, Carly, because I know you're working on websites of your own. And this might actually be a more pertinent thing to add some content to. Yeah, I had the same problem for about three years, the perfectionist syndrome. Uh, every three or four months, I'd relaunch a completely new theme to my website and maybe with a new feature. And people were just getting really mad because it's changing all the time. And they just when they got used to it, they thought, why have you changed it again? It's because I didn't like it, okay? It's just, it's, it's, I didn't like it. I get bored. You know, I like to make it better. And by making it better, I made it worse. So in the end, I mean, with the theme that I've got now, people are happy with it. I'm happy with it. And I'll just tweak it. I'm so I'm, I'm not a perfectionist now. I'm just a, I'm a realist. There you go. Yeah, I used to come up with these crazy ideas. I'm like, Bruce, I'm going to build this. I'm going to build this. I'm going to build this. I like, you know, 20 different things, and I'm going to hook it all into here. And he's like, okay, come on, slow down. Build one or two things at a time. Make sure they work. He can, he can talk. <laughs> I mean, what's to do now? <laughs> yeah. But... Yeah, it's it's the whole idea of I'm going to build a few things, make sure they work. They don't have to be perfect, but keep moving on and then keep making little tweaks here to reach my goal as opposed to what I was doing before. If everything's not perfect, I'm not going to move forward. And generally that means I'll never move. It'll be 10 years down the road and I'll be like, if I just add this one little stop, and it's just going to take action now. Like, Bye, I, George, I think he got it. Like, I've been sick. Sometimes I've had I had a cold last week, and I'm like, I'm still going to give a speech. It's not perfect. I'm not, I'm not going to ever be 100%. There's always something I can do to make one of my speeches better. But if I don't give a speech, no one's going to hear it. Ah! Well, duh. Yep. But some people don't do that. If you, want to, if you want to perfect your speech, just become a politician. You know I mean? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> oh, touche, Jay, touche. Yeah, well, become a politician. You don't need to see your brain, then. You'll just be told what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Read off the teleprompter. Yeah, just like Obama did when he completely messed up and the te teleprompter broke. I love it. Oh. politically correct here, so don't even worry about it, man. <laughs> the power hour is not PC. Nope, and we're never going to be. You no, don't 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 nope. Nope. We don't like SJWs here. <laughs> In fact, when we get big enough, we're going to do an entire video series dedicated to everything wrong with social justice war. That'll be a long video. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a long video. Yeah, dude, it's going to be a series, bro. Look at Alex Jones. He's been doing it for me like 30 years now. <laughs> Alex Jones. <laughs> I, I use brain force every day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Strength is my mind and my body. All right, guys. So let's bring the number 10, the big one, since it's about Alex Jones. And he's all about creating fear. Ah, we're all going to yeah, die every, every week. You know, the NWO is going to get us. But here's the interesting thing. Fear is the number one source of regret. I can attest to that. 
so because nice. everything I've been afraid. Oh, I can't talk to that girl. Uh, she might, you know, yell at me, or I can't pick up that instrument and play in front of people because they're gonna not like metal, or I'm gonna miss a note, or you know, I can't go lift today because uh, I'll, I don't know, get it. What's, oh. what's the thing? I never you seen. might sprain a muscle. Yeah, and like all this fear. Of, or I can't go on camera. That was a big thing. Because if I do YouTube, nobody will care about any content I make and I'll never get any views. Who wants never, to watch never, me? Kareem, Kareem, never assume it makes sense. What? Did you think you were that good looking? Was it conceit or fear? 